Hi everybody, Mike of Mike Likes here again with another segment for you. Today I have yet another pair of Canon image stabilized binoculars. This time it's the Canon 12 by 36 IS Mark III image stabilized binoculars. Um, these are, I guess you'd call it the middle ground between the 10X that I've shown you on the channel and the 15X that I often use for astronomy that I've shown you on the channel. Now the 12X is a nice middle ground um, range where you'll still get really good performance in astronomy, but you'll also get a more functional range like for birding or nature or the zoo or the air show. And they're significantly cheaper and significantly lighter and smaller than the 15X binoculars. So what it comes down to is when you have a two to three pound binocular, that's fine. If you're in astronomy, you maybe have a side card table set up, you can put them down. But if you're going to be walking miles around, you may look for something lighter. And the 12 by 36 binoculars are a bit lighter. They really are um, as brilliant as the 10X, but they give you just a little bit more reach. And you know, when I'm just looking around uh, and I go in one of the woods or in one of the parks here, I can see so much. I've caught groundhogs in this. I've seen deer from far away. It's just a lot of fun. And it has that magic button where you tap it down and the green light turns on. Now, it's not like the 15 times one where you get some gratuitous time if you press it and it holds. If I let go, it turns off the image stabilization. So you do have to hold, have it pressed down. Not a big deal, but something to be mindful of is that the 15, 18, and the 10 by 42s give you a bit of a, of a time period where you don't have to hold that button. The 12 is more like the 10 and you do have to hold the button. These are made in Taiwan, so they're not made in Japan like the 15 times um, set that I showed you. Um, and the accessories that Canon gives you are pretty Spartan. You get the box and it's got a little pouch in there. They give you the caps for, you know, for the eyepieces, but not for the front um, oculars. So you'd have to get your own caps if you wanted to, but they're not included. And um, the case, it's just a little baggy, but I got this case, I think on Amazon, and it's like $25 and it fits them quite nicely if you're gonna walk with your binoculars there. Um, you know, I highly recommend you check these binoculars out in a store. Once you've used them, you just get, you know, spoiled by that image stabilization. And especially if you're like me and you do a lot of astronomy, stars turn into squiggly lines when you're not image stabilized. And when you are image stabilized, you get pinpoints of light, which they are. This has shown me the kind of uh, oblong shape that is Saturn. It won't, it won't decipher the rings like a telescope, but it'll show you that there's a line around the star. Um, it does great on the moon. It does great for wide field objects like the Andromeda galaxy and the Pleiades. Just a really fun pair of binoculars and it like just under, you know, a pound and a half, just really portable. They do not feel the weight on my neck. I have a little peak design uh, connectors here for various straps, but you can use any kind of strap you like and they're just not all that heavy and it's really nice. Um, I use the lithium batteries inside it, two AA uh, Energizer Lithiums. I don't like batteries that leak and something as expensive as this and uh, that they work well as um, for that purpose. Um, and you know, the other thing is once you have these binoculars, you know, you're ruined for all other kinds of binoculars because you're always going to look for the image stabilization, like I've said. So yeah, check them out, your local store, um, see how you like them. I bought mine used. They are very expensive new, surprisingly, they've gone up quite a bit, but you can still get a pretty good deal used. And yeah, that's what I have to say about these. I mean, they're just great um, and highly recommend them. So thanks so much for watching this quick little review of the Canon 12 by 36 image stabilized binoculars. I think they're a really nice middle ground between the 10X and the 15X. And I wouldn't consider a 12X binoculars without image stabilization. So whereas you can get away with eight or 10 times without image stabilization, 12 is where you really start to need it. So thanks so much for watching again. If you like what I'm doing, um, go ahead and throw a thumbs up and um, please subscribe to the channel if you uh, feel like it. Thanks so much and have a great day.